Can daddy cook? Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, it is me, Phil, Daddy from Daddy Cooks. Um, you guys saw the title. I got hit up by Daryl Smith from Bad Beast Barbecue uh, for this barbecue tag. So I want to answer these questions and maybe you guys get a little bit more insight on this guy. All right, guys. But uh, as you can tell, those of you that follow me, I am away again uh, at Parts Unknown <laughs> doing what I do. Uh, no, I'm not going to mention that because that's none of your business. And it's also not safe on my end. Uh, I do want to apologize that I haven't put out a lot of cooking videos, guys. I must say that uh, this last rotation or the last time I was home on vacation, I had to concentrate on my family, guys. I am a away from home a lot, but, you know, priority is priority and I got to take care of my family. And I, I just want to do some home stuff. All right, guys. Anyway. <clears throat> I just wanted to say that. Uh, let's get on with these questions. Question number one, what is my go-to smoker? Well, my go-to smoker, guys, if you didn't know, <laughs> is my UDS, my ugly jump smoker. Now, I do have a, uh, a Weber kettle, which I do and can smoke on. I also have a bigger uh, rectangular barbecue grill uh, that I have and do smoke on, but neither of them are designed for smoking. Um, so my go-to smoker is my UDS. That's what I use. It's proven, tried and true, set it and forget it, hasn't let me down yet. Question number two, my go-to rub. Okay, now my go-to rub normally is something that I put together myself, okay? The only criteria that I have for a, a rub is I want something, no matter what ingredients I put in it, I want something that's got some heat, that's got some sweet, it's got some savory, and uh, uh, that's about it, all right? Some heat, some sweet, some savory, a little bit of kick to it, and that's it. Regardless of what ingredients I use, I don't really have anything uh, like a recipe. I just go with what I want my food to taste like that go around. Now, I will say, I like Tango Joe stuff. All right, he's got a lot of stuff, uh, Southwest Sunset and uh, this and that. I like Tango Joe stuff. I like JB's uh, Hey Boy Rub, uh, the second version. Uh, Kirby Q, Kirby Q has a beef, a chicken, and a pork rub like them all. He sent me some. The Slippery Chicken, I don't know where he went, but he had a mango chipotle rub that I used once, and that was very good, but I don't have a go-to rub. I just kind of put one together based on how I want my food to mix it together, taste it, I like it, I use it, that type of thing. Hope I answered that question. Question number three, baby backs or spares? Spares, without a doubt. The reason I like spares because it's more meat, okay? When I'm cooking at home, I don't do the uh, 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 trimming them up and all that stuff. I mean, I'll make them nice and pretty, but uh, uh, I don't do the St. Louis style and all that good stuff. I leave all those hangies on there and all that. Uh, not hangies, but uh, uh, rib tips and all that. More meat. Okay. Mine don't have to be pretty. They just have to taste good. So I like spares. Uh, favorite barbecue channel? Eee. I watch a lot of channels because they all have a lot to offer. So I don't really have a favorite favorite. Um, I'll tell you my three go-tos uh, if I have questions or want to try to figure something out, which I know they probably have hit or tried to hit, would be uh, obviously JB, Louisiana Cajun Recipes, because he's just royalty. I've been watching him forever, ever, before I even started doing videos. <clears throat> then I got Greg over uh, uh, Ballistic Barbecue. He has a very, very huge archive of videos, and he, you can answer a lot of questions with his footage. And Smokey Ribs, Russ. A lot of stuff, wealth of knowledge in those three guys, but they're not favorites. Those are just the ones I kind of go to, but I watch everybody. Everyone has something to offer. Uh, Lyle at No Hippie Barbecue does glazes and sauces, things that I don't do. I pick up things from him. Juanello, um, he does a lot of fish dishes and uh, low carb. I learn things from him. You know, uh, Chris from uh, Mother's Barbecue does a lot of different techniques and a lot of some Southwestern. A lot of people, uh, T-Roy, he does a lot of uh, uh, higher quality cuts of meat. Uh, you know, so I don't have any go-to favorites, 
I just kind of pick and choose based on what I'm trying to figure out or trying to learn or trying to mimic. I hope that made sense to you guys. Um, favorite beer? <laughs> you guys that watch me, my favorite beer is cold beer. <laughs> I ain't loyal to nobody. If it tastes good, I'll drink it. I rotate through different types of beer. If I don't like the beer or if I don't like the way it tastes, I'll never go back to it. I like cold beer. All right, biggest influence. Biggest influence in barbecuing for me, one would have to be JB, Louisiana Cajun Recipes, because I was watching him before I even started doing videos. I've been watching JB for years, okay? So that would be a big influence. Another big influence um, that really helped kick my channel off is a guy that doesn't even make videos, a guy named Jeff S. I don't even know what the S stands for, but way way back in the day i was doing uh some smoking on my barbecue grill and it was painful uh stayed up all night adding charcoal adding wood adding charcoal adding wood try, wood trying to uh get it done got it done it was delicious but he started making comments man you did a good cook but you worked too hard you should you should have used a smoker should have used a uds i didn't know what a uds was and thanks to jeff s i did some research i couldn't find what i wanted so I built my own and recorded it, did a video on it. Boom, that's when my channel started blowing up. So thank you, Jeff S. You're the reason Daddy Cooks is as big as it is because that UDS video was my magic video. Um, next question, uh, thoughts on pellet, gas, or electric smokers? Uh, my thoughts on those are they must be good or they won't be selling. <laughs> I've never used any of them. Uh, I've always used uh, charcoal to smoke any meat, to barbecue. I've never used a, a, a gas smoker or an electric smoker, never. I have used gas grills, but that wasn't the question. All right, so that's my thoughts on that. They must be good because people use them. I just have it. Uh, next question, to sauce or not to sauce? That depends on what you're cooking, okay? I will add sauce to pulled pork, pulled chicken, and that type of stuff. Um, I will sauce ribs sometimes, and sometimes I won't. Um, brisket, sauce on the side. I'm not putting any sauce on a brisket. Steaks, I'm not putting the salt, salt and pepper on steaks. You know, beef product, beef ribs, uh, salt and pepper, may sauce, may not. It depends on what you're cooking. It depends on what you guys want to taste, all right? There's nothing wrong with sauce on the side. Gives people the option. The ones that don't want sauce, good. And the ones that do want sauce, put it on yourself. It's up to you guys. Hope that I answered that one. Explain the difference between grilling and barbecuing. Simple, guys. Grilling, barbecuing, and smoking are all cooking techniques. All right? They're all cooking techniques. It's not the name of the food. Hey, guys, we're going to eat some barbecue. No. All right, guys? Just because you put barbecue sauce on something doesn't make it barbecue. You with me? Grilling. Direct heat, food right on top of it, and then only certain types of food should be grilled. Steaks, pork chops, hot dogs, hamburgers, right over the heat, that type of stuff, okay? Um, barbecuing is for cuts of meat and things that take a little bit longer to make sure they get cooked all the way through, break down connective tissue, kind of like smoking. All right, you can grill it initially, I do that with my ribs, and then you move it off to indirect heat and go low and slow for a couple of hours. Okay, once again, that gets you some smokiness in there if you use wood or some charcoal flavor, breaks down connective tissue, makes things that are tough, tender, that type of stuff. All right, guys, grilling, direct heat, uh, right on top of the fire, barbecuing, indirect heat, low and slow, till you get your desired uh, texture or consistency or uh, done this for your meat. Easy. Um, number 10, preferred type of coal, lump or briquettes. Once again, guys, that depends on what I'm cooking and how I'm cooking it. If I am smoking, if I'm using the UDS, if I am smoking, I want lump charcoal. Reason being, because I don't want any flavor coming out of my charcoal. Okay, guys, uh, briquettes use fillers, they use binders, things to hold them together. Sometimes they add flavorings and things like that. That's fine. If I'm going to barbecue, if I'm using my barbecue grill, I might want some of those flavors. I may not use any wood. I might just use the flavors from 
the charcoal that's built in. They got hickory charcoal briquettes. They got mesquite briquettes. All those are flavors added. <clears throat> Smoking, I just want the charcoal lump and I'll get the flavor from my wood that I add. All right, hopefully I answered that. Now I'll make up my own question. Here's my question. What is your most troublesome thing to cook? What kicks you in the butt? Which one's which one most difficult? For me guys, it would be fried chicken. All right, not deep fried, that's easy. Batter it up, season it up, whatever, throw it in the oil when it floats, it's done. I'm talking about cast iron skillet, frying pan, on the stove, kicks my butt. I get it right about 60% of the time, but sometimes it's either, uh, it's all temperature. Either the outside cooked, I need to put it in the oven because the inside's not done, or it's too hot, you know, that one really kicks my butt. I get it right, but it's a pain in my side. So that's my question. What is your most troublesome thing to cook? All right, guys. Now, <clears throat> I gotta uh, select three people to tag. First person I'm gonna tag is Dan over there at Smoky Goodness. What up, man? Tag, you're it. Answer these questions. Um, next one would be Lumpy Q. Hey, Lumpy. I don't even know your real name, Lumpy. I guess I'll call you Lumpy. Hey, Lumpy Q, tag. You are it. And the next one is Eric over at uh, Kirby Q. Tag, you are it. Answer these questions. Come up with one of your own. Tag three more people. All right, guys. I hope that's good for you. Now, before I go, I want to do some shout outs. Um, and these are shout outs of people that have been with me for years. These are loyalty people, people that have always stuck by me for a long, long time. <clears throat> this is an all inclusive list, y'all. But uh, now the air conditioner comes on. Anyway, I want to uh, give these shout outs to uh, first Princess Ginger. Princess Ginger. I think she is my first subscriber or second, been with me for years. How you doing? Shout out, shout out. Nana and Papa, Jonathan and Wendy, shout out, shout out. How you doing? Um, IMB Pilot, what's going on? What's going on? K Ray. K Ray's been with me for a while. The Grill Father, Kirby Q. Not only have you been tagged, but I could give you a shout out, shout out. Uh, Michael Landry, how you doing, my friend? Shout out, shout out. The Drunk Cook Paul, where you been, man? I hope you're okay. I'm gonna give you a shout out too, man. Shout out, shout out. Uh, Greg at Ballistic Barbecue, he's been, he been, been with me for a couple years. I've been with him longer. <laughs> but um, uh, White Thunder Barbecue, shout out, shout out. How you doing, how you doing? Uh, Carly P, 1972. Hey, Carly P, 1972. Fit Ange, who is special, special to me. Uh, she had to, she helped me make a few corrections back in the day. Hey, Fit Angie, how you doing, girl? Fit Ange. Uh, Fritz Rochester from Fritz is Cooking Again. What up, my friend? How you doing, brother? And uh, Kara's Love Techniques. Hi, Kara. How you doing? Um, I did these real quick, but I was looking back and like, you know, there's some folks that's been with me for a while. I just want to give them some special shout outs and there they are. Um, guys, I won't be doing cooking videos for a minute because once again, like I said, I am away. But I will be kicking up uh, Arbop as I get a chance. Uh, Arbop is my other channel, Riddick's Book of Philosophy. I apologize for neglecting it, but the last time I was here, parts unknown doing what I do, I left my camera home and I had no way to record. My smartphone didn't have enough memory. So I'll be kicking that back up. Feel free to go over there and check that out. And for those of you that don't know, that's a channel that explains things, how to make better videos and you know, uh, that type of stuff. Things that I've learned. Uh, if you go back and look at my uh, uh, Daddy Cooks videos, you can see how I started and where I am. And it's been a dramatic change. And I'll try to help explain some of that. All right, guys, so keep your eyes open for that stuff. I will see you when I see you, and you guys take care of yourselves. Love you. Can daddy cook? Mm -hmm.